please use the sharing tools found via the email icon at the top of articles. Copying articles to share with others is a breach of FT.com TNCS and copyright policy. Email licensing at FT.com to buy additional rights. Subscribers may share up to 10 or 20 articles per month using the gift article service. More information can be found at https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash tour. https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash content slash 132435 a 3 c 6 hyphen 1 1 e 7 hyphen 9 e 4 f hyphen 7 f 5 e 6 a 7 c 9 8 a 2 the end of an era. Wolfgang Schauble is to depart from the German finance ministry, ending a stint at the top of European financial policy making that straddled the crisis years and very much defined them. Revered and reviled in equal measure, in Germany and Greece respectively, the Eurozone's longest serving finance minister will step down from his post after eight years to become president of the German parliament. Did the election result make it inevitable? Whatever the answer to the speculation in Berlin, his exit embodies how the result has left Chancellor Angela Merkel weaker and points to how her European modus operandi will need to change in coming years. Mr. Schauble was a passionate pro-European but also a convenient foil for Ms. Merkel in Brussels, pushing a tough talking line on everything from Eurozone budgetary rules to a Greek exit from the Euro. The salt and pepper double act ends just as the EMU debate moves from crisis to consolidation. This is a change of guard that will transform the dynamics among finance ministers, where Mr. Schauble was often the dominant voice in the room. The uncertainty from his departure will have massive initial impact on Germany's ability to shape the discourse at the Eurogroup, says Guntram Wolf, director of the Bruegel think tank. But Mr. Schauble's successor, whether drawn from his CDU party or the Liberal FDP, will not usher in a radical policy shift in the Bundesfinanzministerium. Germany's ordo-liberal orthodoxy, with its fixation on balanced budgets and export strength at home and rules and reforms for the rest, will outlive Mr. Schauble and continue to shape German economic policy for years to come. Yet there are opportunities in the personnel change. On Greece's torture debt relief talks, which are due before next August, a fresh face can help rebuild trust between Berlin and the International Monetary Fund after seven years of bailout talks. On the policy front, the biggest implications are likely to be domestic rather than European. An FDP finance minister will push hard for tax reform and investment at home, areas where Europe's largest economy has lagged dangerously behind. Both have the potential to rebalance Germany and help out its partner economies. In the Bundestag, meanwhile, the 75-year-old Mr. Schauble will be tasked with presiding over a parliament with a sizable far-right presence for the first time since the 1940s. If Mr. Schauble's European tussles are anything to go by, the aft are in for one hell of a fight. Email marine.con at ft.com. Twitter at marinecon. Register to sign up for the free Brussels briefing in your inbox every morning. Chart du Jauer, Schauble's other legacy. Schwarz Null, or the Black Zero, budget has been a fixation of Mr. Schauble during his time at the finance ministry. He will leave office with the public finances in their best state, since before the fall of the Berlin Wall, Germany's budget surplus is at a record 23.7 billion euros. Part of those funds are now likely to be spent on everything from refugees to investment, helping deliver a modest fiscal stimulus to an economy with record low unemployment and still robust GDP growth.